Welcome to EC Elimu, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the introduction to physics, we discussed the branches of physics, and one of the branch of physics was thermodynamics. And we defined the thermodynamics as the transformation of energy from one form to another. Just in the previous topic, particulate nature of matter, we looked at the nature of matter and we said matter is made up of very small particles which are in a continuous and random motion in liquids and gases and they are at a constant vibration in solids. We also saw the effect of increase in temperature in the three states of matter. We realized that when you increase the temperature of solids, the force between the particles is weakened, the distance between the particles widens and then they increase in volume and then they change to liquids and if you increase the temperature of liquids force between the particles is weakened distance between the particles become large and they change to gases and as you increase the temperature of gases the particles will move far far away from each other so in this lesson we are going to discuss how the increase in temperature or heat of substances, that is the three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases, will cause the solids, liquids, and gases to expand and a decrease in temperature leading to contraction of the three states of matter, that is solids, liquids, and gases. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. So by the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define different terms like thermal expansion, temperature, and then state the SI unit of temperature, and then finally discuss expansion in solids. And then we are going to realize that whenever you have expansion due to increase in heat, whenever there is decrease in heat, the substance will contract. So the opposite of expansion is contraction. So you should be able to explain how expansion takes place and how contraction takes place. So thermal expansion refers to increase in volume of a body when heated. So in this case, we are going to discuss expansion, which is caused by increase in heat. Remember thermal, we said it comes from the word heat. So a body in this case, we mean the three main states of matter, that is solid, liquid, and gas. So in this case, or in this topic, thermal expansion, we are going to discuss expansion, which is caused by increase in heat of solids. Then we will move to expansion, which is caused by increase in heat on liquid, and then expansion, which is caused by increase in heat of gases remember from your from your particulate nature of matter and the kinetic theory we said if you have a solid of this size the particles are closely packed there is no space between the particles and if you increase heat that is temperature in this case the particles will move slightly far away from each other and they will leave some intermolecular space so these are solid through heat it expands and during expansion it increases in size. Then now if you have liquids, let's say liquids, we said the particles are slightly far away from each other and there is a small intermolecular distance between the particles. If you increase heat, these particles will move to occupy a larger space and the particles will move far away from each other due to weakened intermolecular space. So these are liquids. Then here, liquids have expanded. And then in this case, they have increased the volume. Increased the volume. So in another one is for gas. If you have uh, gases like this one, you have gases. We said for gases, the particles are already far away from each other. So if you increase heat, the particles will move very far away, further, further away from each other. And in the process, the volume will increase. And in that case, 
in that case we say it has expanded so expansion when we discuss expansion which is caused by increase in heat we call it thermal expansion and remember the reverse is true if you decrease the temperature of the solid which have expanded they will go back to the solids which have not expanded so it means if you decrease the temperature decrease temperature you are going to encounter what we call contraction they will contract the particles will come more close the force of attraction will increase and if you decrease here you are going to cause contraction also in gases when you decrease temperature you cause contraction so entirely in this topic we are going to discuss expansion which is caused by change in heat on the three states of matter so since we have discussed uh, thermal expansion and we have said it's the expansion or contraction which is caused by change in heat now it's very important to note or to know the cause of heat how do we bring about heat heat is caused by change in temperature of a body and temperature we are going to define it as the degree or extent of hotness or coldness of a body body in this case is any of the three states of matter on a chosen scale so temperature is measured using an instrument called a thermometer and we are going to discuss different types of thermometers at the end of this lesson and then temperature is a basic quantity basic quantity means it can only be obtained by using a measuring instrument and it cannot be obtained from other physical quantities and the SI unit is Kelvin remember that basic quantity we call thermodynamic temperature that's what we are discussing here we have other commonly used units and that is degree celsius we are going to see the relationship between degree celsius and the kelvin scale later and then another important thing is that temperature is a scalar quantity scalar quantities these are quantities with magnitude only but no direction so temperature has only magnitude and it does not have direction so we are going to start with the first common state of matter that is solids and what we are going to realize is that whenever a solid is heated it expands uh, expanding means increasing in size or volume and whenever a solid is cooled whenever a solid is cooled it contracts contracts means decrease in size or volume however in the two cases either increasing heat or decreasing heat or cooling the mass of the solid does not change it's only the size or volume which changes for example here if you have a solid of this size it's a solid when it's cold when you heat it will occupy a relatively larger size this is when it has expanded and then in this case uh, the size will change but the mass will be the same the mass will be the same simply because we have not interfered with the particles which make this matter what we have just done we have only uh, changed the particles which were close together we have made them to move slightly far away from each other so it means the number of particles will remain the same only the size which all the volume which they occupy will change another thing that you should note is that when you are heating this substance whenever there is increase in volume there is a decrease in density when a solid is heated its density are decreases and when a solid is is cooled it is density increases so whenever you are increasing the heat you are decreasing the density as you increase volume remember from our measurement density is equals to mass over volume so if we keep the mass constant let's say the mass is 20 kilograms and then the volume now let's vary the volume then we see how density is going to change let's say we have a volume of zero one not even zero let's start from a number let's say we have a, 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 a volume of three meters cubed then we have a volume now let's change it to two we reduce it volume 
is equals to 2 cubic meter then we have another volume as uh let's increase it to 5 volume is equals to 5 cubic meter and now if you calculate the density if you are you have a volume of 3 then it will be 20 kg over 3 cubic meter which is going to be 6.667 kgs per cubic meter what if we decrease this density one what if we decrease uh the volume to two now our density will be 20 kg fed by two cubic meter which is going to be 10 kilograms per cubic meter this is density two now what if we increase the volume after now heating it has expanded volume has increased density three is going to be 20 over 5 cubic meter this kilograms which is going to be 4 kilograms per cubic meter so as you can see as we increase the volume or if the volume was here at 3 density is 6 if we decrease the volume when we cool volume decreases the density will increase when we heat volume increases to 5 density will decrease so as you increase the heat on a substance volume increases density decreases when you decrease or when you cool the substance volume decreases when volume is the smallest density is the highest when volume is maximum density is lowest that is very important to know and then we will leave it later the reason why solids expand we discussed it in particular respect of matter and we said whenever you have a solid like this the particles inside are in contact with each other and they are in a constant a vibration now if you increase the heat this is called solid if you increase the heat they will gain more kinetic energy the particles will now start knocking each other with a greater force the force of attraction between the particles will be decreased and then the particles will move slightly away from each other and in this case we will say the solid has expanded because the particles now are knocking each other with a greater force the particles will move slightly far away from each other so the hot solid will look like this there is some space between the particles due to increase in vibration which causes a greater a knocking of each, the particles on each side the particles will move to occupy more space so this one we call it expansion now if you cool this hot solid the knocking or the force between the particles which is knocking the particles apart will decrease the force of attraction between the particles will increase also because there is no kinetic energy between the particles now the particles will contract the particles will contract and therefore the particles now will move to be close to each other and in that process we call it contraction where the particles will be in contact with each other and again if you increase the uh, heat they will move or they will vibrate knock each other the solid will expand and vice versa so we have some of the experiments we can perform to prove that solids indeed expand when heated and contract when cold and the first experiment we're going to perform it using an instrument called a ball and ring experiment a ball and ring experiment has a metallic ball a chain which is also metallic a handle which is made of an insulator or which is insulated and a metallic ring now this ball and ring is made in a way that at room temperature the ball can go through easily and it can also go out easily now we are going to hit the ball and then try to pass it through the ring so if you hit the ball and try to pass it through the ring you will realize that the ball will not pass after you have heated it it will not pass through the ring but if you leave it on top of the ring for some time it will pass now what happens when you hit the ball it will expand so let's say this is our ring when you hit the ball the ball will expand and its size will be larger than this ring therefore the ball will not pass through the ring because it has expanded it has increased in size 
Now, when you put it on top of this ring, remember, you are not now heating it. You have just placed it on a cold ring. On the cold ring, some of the heat will be transferred from the ball to the ring. When this heat is transformed or transferred from the ball to the ring, the ring will regain temperature. So the ring will gain temperature and it will expand because any solid, when it interacts with heat, it will expand. Now the heat from the ball will enter the ring and the ring will expand. And in the process, the ball will also lose some heat. When solids lose heat, they contract. Now that process where the ball lost some heat and contracted and the ring gained some heat and expanded, make the ball which you have heated on top of the ring to pass through. Now the ball will, will, will stop passing through and then after some time pass because when you heat it expand, it cannot pass through. But if you leave there for some time, the ball will lose some heat. The heat will move to the cold ring. The ring will expand. Now in the process, the ball will be losing heat. It will contract. Then the sizes will match and then the ball will pass through the ring. So another experiment which we can perform to prove that solids expand when heated and contract when cooled is uh, what we call a bar and gauge experiment, where we have a bar which is fixed on a plastic or a wood handle, that is an insulator. Then we have a gauge which is also metallic. So this apparatus is designed in a way that when fixed carefully, the bar passes through the gauge. But now we are going to realize that when you heat, this bar and try to pass it through the gauge, it will not pass. But after some time, the bar will pass through the gauge. Now, what happens? The reason why the bar cannot pass through when you heat is because when you heat this bar, it will expand and occupy large size than the initial size. So in that case, it will have a large volume than the space left by the, on the gauge. Now, when you leave it there for some time, the bar will lose some heat to the cold gauge, and the gauge will gain that heat and expand. So the gauge will gain heat after some time and expand, then the bar will lose some heat and contract. Now, when the bar contracts and the gauge expands, that causes now the size to fit, and then the gauge can pass, or the bar will pass through the gauge. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss linear expansivity and some of the applications of expansion and contraction in solids.